Hi darlings, I hope you're all alright and keeping safe and taking care of yourselves. I've just come back from work, so <laughs> I'm absolutely knackered. But after today and today's events, I just had to come on and have a quick few words with you all. This morning, I got up and there was like a notification thing on my computer from Not That Debbie. And she said basically that Foodie's t channel had been terminated. Well, I didn't believe it, as I'm sure all of you all were very shocked that YouTube had finally had its fill of our foodie. I'm glad somebody's appetite sated and um, they've terminated a channel. Um, I've been dipping into different people's channels throughout the day, you know, when I was walking Milo and when I was at work on my tea break and my dinner and everything. And it seems that um, there was quite a few offences that she'd committed. Um, sexual content, I think one was called, and nudity and you know very serious um tos violations and um they basically had enough of her i don't know if they'd been watching her for a while um i don't know if she's had any pre-warnings but it seems that she's got away with a lot as we all know over the last four or five years and it's finally caught up with her. I don't want to sound awful or hard because I know that this is her uh, income that we're talking about. And to have that taken away, I mean, it must be devastating, you know. I mean, I myself know what it's like to have the threat of redundancy hanging over my head. But I'm sorry, I can't feel sorry for her. I can't. She has done and said so many awful things. And she has hurt people. And she has danced about the terms of service, rules and regulations, as I said, for years now. Almost tempting fate. On numerous occasions, you know, du during her rants, she said, oh, if they if they cancel my channel, I don't care, you know. But I know that she does. And I'm sure whether, that wherever she is, she's probably shitting herself. I don't want to dance on anyone's grave. But perhaps this, this shock that she's going through now may have a silver lining to its cloud and she may f learn some lessons from this situation that she finds herself in. You have to abide by the rules of any platform on social media. And I think because she got away with it so much it had lulled her into a false sense of security. She thought she could get away with it, keep getting away with it, and they'd never touch her. And I think there's a lesson in, in all of this for all of us, that we need to be careful what we do and what we say and how it affects other people. Because there are consequences to your actions and your words. I don't suppose she's got a financial buffer. I can't imagine she's the sort of person that's been stealthily putting a little bit of money every month to one side, you know, just in case. You know that just in case uh, kitty money that you hold? I mean, most of us put it in an old biscuit tin or a jam jar or in one of our bank accounts. You know, the money that we never touch. It's for those what if moments, just in case moments. I don't suppose she's got one of those and I'm sure she's frantically scrabbling around trying to work out what she's going to do. I assume there is some sort of appeal procedure and I assume that she will go down that route. Some people say there's no chance at all 
that she'll get her channel back. Others disagree and say there is a chance. I don't know. I think it's a very slim chance, you know, that she'll get her channel back. But you never know, you know, miracles do happen. Unusual things that you thought would never occur do happen regularly in life. So we're going to have to wait and see. She may even come on another platform, you know, another social media platform. And I did wonder whether she may um, sort of half take over Pete's channel. I mean, I don't know if that's a possibility. I don't know enough about terms of service just to know whether or not she'd be able to do that. But I have a sneaking suspicion that this is not the last that we've heard of our Chantal. So why we wait for her to rear her head again over the parapet? I'd be really interested in any suggestions that any of you may have for anybody else that I might react to. Um, I've got one idea and I'm going to think about it for a day or two before I um, do a video. But I'm open to any suggestions. And if in particular you've got a particular video that you'd like me to uh, react to, please put them down in the comments. I hope that you've all had a nice, a nice day. And uh, I hope you're all keeping safe and taking care of yourselves. And I want you all to know how much I appreciate all my views and the lovely comments and the subscriptions to my channel. And I also want you to know I love you all very much. I really, really do, you know. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you later. Bye.